Welcome to the chemistry question. Jordan here. We're all familiar with candles, and we also know that if we take candles and we cover them with a jar or something else, the candles will go out because they use up all the oxygen, and they need oxygen to continue burning. This is because a burning candle is an example of a combustion reaction where an organic compound reacts with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water. This is not the only form of burning, however. We also have redox or oxidation reduction reactions in which a reducing agent is oxidized, meaning it loses electrons, to the oxidizing agent, which is reduced and gains electrons. Now, quite frequently, oxygen is the oxidizing agent, such as in this reaction seen here where magnesium reacts with oxygen to produce magnesium oxide. The oxygen is reduced while the magnesium is oxidized. So that one does require oxygen, but there are many other reactions that do not require gaseous oxygen to maintain themselves, and they are known as self-oxidizing reactions. One example is thermite. So, in thermite, aluminum is oxidized into aluminum oxide, whereas the iron oxide is reduced and you get pure iron metal out of it. And then we also have the halogens, which are great oxidizing agents. In fact, there are many oxidizing agents. Some of them contain oxygen, but are not pure oxygen, and some do not contain oxygen at all. Sparklers are interesting because they have the oxidizer and the reducer built within them so they can burn underwater without a problem. Now, I lied somewhat when I said that combustion required oxygen in gaseous form because the logo is actually potassium chlorate and sugar where the oxygen source comes from the potassium chlorate. Thank you for watching the chemistry question. Be sure to subscribe and leave any questions or suggestions in the comments below. Until next time.